Hey guys, today we're going to be taking a look at on-screen pop-outs for Final Cut Pro by FCPX Full Access. This is a really time-saving tool that's going to save you manually building these on-screen call-outs. These are perfect for sending your audience from one video to the next, adding some BTS footage over a clip, maybe having an iPhone overlay or just, just adding some extra information. These things are so invaluable and a must-have for any filmmaker. So let's get into how to make one of these in a matter of seconds. Right, so what we do is we download on-screen pop-ups from FCPX Full Access. Simply add it to your cart and complete the checkout. So once you finish your checkout, you're going to be sent an email to the email you put in, or you can simply click here, download your plugins, and it will take you to the download page. All you need to do then is quickly click this, and it's going to download really quickly, and then we can find it in our downloads. So now if we open Finder, when we go to downloads, you can see here on-screen pop-ups is right at the top. We just downloaded it, so let's go inside. We have three PDFs, one is our instructions and this shows us where to install it. It's obviously a title file. The next one is an installation guide if you need some help. And the third is our license and our usage. So all we're going to do is going to quickly take on-screen pop-up, the whole folder. We're going to copy it by pressing Command C. I'm going to go to go up on the top, click home. I'm going to go to movies, motion templates, and then go into titles like it said in that PDF and then we're going to press command V to paste the whole folder in there and if you see inside we've got all of our title files here so now let's open Final Cut right so now we're in Final Cut if we click these six boxes up in the top right it's going to open up our panel on the left hand side in our titles tab you can see we've now got on-screen pop-up this is our on-screen pop-up pack here right so what I've got here is a couple of clips of a guy working out in a gym and let's say for example we're creating a video for a client where they're making a workout class or something and you want to direct someone to the next video so they watch the next class. So this pop-up pack is going to be absolutely perfect for that to build these in seconds. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my pop-up pack here, I'm going to pick one that I like the look of. Um, I think pop-up 8 is good for this sort of thing. And I'm going to drop it over the clip. So let's have a look how that looks straight away out of the box. It's going to look something like that, it's going to pop up in the middle. Um, and you can see here we've got our drop zone right in the middle. So to add our own footage, I'm going to click the drop zone box here. Now all I need to do is navigate onto the left hand side into our clips and pick a clip that I think is going to work to direct people to our next video. I think it's one of the guy doing the ropes. If our next class was like a rope class or hit workout or something. So I'm going to click on that and I'm going to click apply clip. Okay, so let's have a look how that looks. Okay, it's looking really good, so all I'm going to do quickly is I'm going to change the text to next video. I'm going to choose my font. Okay, that's looking really good, but I think it would actually look better if we could still see the guy's face and this video is just off to the left. So you can either use the positioning tools up in the inspector here, or I personally quite like to use transform, which is just here on the left. So I'm just going to like make this a tiny bit smaller by dragging it, and then I'm going to drag it to the left, just like that. And there we go, this is basically our pop-up straight away, it looks great out of the box. Something you might want to do to add a bit of contrast to might be to add some blur to the background. So what I'm going to do is in my effects panel down here on the right, bottom right, I click these two little squares. I'm just going to go into here and I'm going to go to blur and I'm going to grab Gaussian. I'm going to drop it on the clip here. So you can see straight away that's blurred out the background and it looks looks quite good but obviously I don't want it blurred out the whole time so with our bottom clip selected I'm gonna bring our amount down to zero I'm just gonna zoom in so we can see so we want this to have no blur at the start but then as soon as the pop-up comes in we want the blur to come up so with the amount set to zero I'm gonna set a keyframe here at the start of this pop-up by clicking this little plus icon in the top right so now I'm gonna move forwards a few frames and I'm gonna leave my timeline marker where I want the blur to end and then all I'm going to do is drag up the amount to the amount that I think looks good. About 25 looks good. And that's it, we've set two keyframes now. And it will automatically go from a zero blur to a 25% blur. Let's have a look how that looks. Awesome, that looks absolutely perfect. So now we can easily send people to the next video and we've got loads of different designs to choose from. And that's it, it's a super easy process. I can't wait to see what you guys build with this really time-saving tool. Hopefully this is a huge driver for your audience to get them from one video to the next. You can add behind the scenes, you can add extra snippets, you can add iPhone overlays. It's gonna be awesome for your videos and I can't wait to see what you guys do with it. We'll catch you in the next video.